Right, it's 430. It's probably about 69, 70 degrees. Okay, I've just tracked a pine and I saw the slide here and he's moving up that slide as you can see. And I don't know if he was looking for that gopher pocket, pocket gopher mound, but it probably disturbed it. Uh, let him go on his way mark this location all right it's uh really cloudy and sprinkling just a little bit and this is a large pine and it's got a large meal in it as you can see look at that large meal it's about the size of a small rabbit or a pocket gopher but since there is a pocket gopher mount here there's no evidence that went in this one or in that way but I'm gonna assume that this guy had a pocket gopher in him okay I've got a uh, pine out today it's about 64 degrees um, about 130 and it's basking right here and air temp is 64, but his temp is 73. Let's get it right over here. 72, 73. So that's pretty interesting. He's found a place in the sun right here, filtering through the plants where it's about 72, but the air temp's about 64 so I think that's pretty cool all right the uh, temp gun showing 64 is the air temp but I've got a pine right here another one and it's basking so let's see the temp on it it's got a little bit of sun on it in one spot that's 80 so Definitely find ways to thermoregulate. And this one, last time we found it above ground too, it was in shed and it's still looking like it's in shed. It's pretty dark. Yeah, it's definitely in shed. So that's pretty cool. Came above ground to bask even in shed. Uh, so as you can see, I'm in a fairly dense pine forest and lots of palmettos. And the pine snake is in that mammal burrow there. And basking pine. This temp in the sun here. 88. Pretty cool. Air temps around 74, 75. It's a beautiful day out right now. Overclass cloudy day. Temps are like 74, 75. And it'd be so easy if you're walking through this habitat to step on a pine snake like this or any other snake. how they basically bask, sitting out, finding a place at the right temperature. It's 426, December 26, and it's uh, four, about 430, and temperature is about 66, and I've got a pine snake in here.
out and about. And the one just before this one was out and about and in shed. And I've learned that when they're in shed, they will bask because their body can't shut down if they're in shed. So they have to come out and bask, thermoregulate, keep their body temperature up so they can continue the shed process. So they'll bask either then or when they have a meal in them, even when it's cold. So this is pretty neat. Okay, so this morning uh, they did a prescribed burn. It's part of my property here with the snakes. And I've got a pine snake. This whole area here has been burned. And there's a pine snake right into the ground right here. So, protected from the fire underground. I can't find an entry hole, but this looks like a pocket gopher mound right here. So it had entered here earlier in the week because I had tracked it here the other day. But this just shows you how cool it is. It's life under the sand here. Another pine snake underground in a burned area. Once again, this, this whole area was burned this morning. And this snake is right under here. And there's no entry hole anywhere around that I could see. That's pretty neat to know how much life is under the sand here. my second snake today I almost stepped on it because I thought for sure it was going to be underground but I guess it is warming up but it's I haven't seen that warm but it's um basking right here and as you can see the camouflage is so good but it's right here We'll do a vegetation survey here since it's basking to get data on where they like to to bask so another cool observation today okay this is uh one of my favorite snakes to track since it's on private land you see the cow pasture here and thick pine forest mesic kind of area here and uh, got a burrow here it's almost like a mammal burrow, but can't tell the shape of it. It's definitely not tortoise. And then right above it here, we've got pine snake basking. And today's probably in the high 60s. So it's got a little bit of sun filtered on it to give it some warmth. Uh, I tracked this one the other day in, in a gopher tortoise burrow when it was colder, and it moved about maybe 50 yards over here. Uh, so this one travels kind of, probably one of the furthest ones that I track. So female.
Okay, so last time I tracked this pine snake in this burned area, it was underground. I had a video of that last week. Today, I'm in the same general area it was at underground, but it's stretched out here. Let's see if you guys can spot it. It's stretched out in the ground under some remaining debris branches that had been burned up that are dying here. So I don't know if you can see the snake. So let's see if I get his head. But this is pretty cool. It's out today. Uh, temps are probably around 70, 71 this morning. Another pine in the burned area. Now this one's really cool because he's just come out of his burrow to bask and he's popping right back into it and it was coming out to bask and he's been here in this spot for a while. The sun's out really nice here. And as you can see, there's pocket gopher system all through here. I would say he's kind of is in these prickly pear roots underneath here. It's part of the system, and he just kind of popped his head out. This is really neat. With the uh, warm front today, I guess a cold front going to be coming rain tomorrow. The pine snakes are out. They came out of their burrows, and this one's a really other interesting one too because. It's out, and you can see where he came out of. I mean, his tail's right there. And he's detected me, and usually they try to find their way back to where they came out of. So let's see what he does. Today really warmed up. He's not going towards the hole, but he's looking for a hole. Yeah. Yep. They kind of know, but it takes them a few seconds to get the bearings straight. Look at him poking around, and then finally, he finds it. Okay, I got a really good one today. I'm on private land, and here's a a uh, shed with tractors and farm equipment, and look what I got in here.
Okay, uh, today is, is a very cool morning. Um, it's about 1.30 and I got my first, or actually my second pine. The first pine actually was moving and this one here is basking. Um, let's see the air temp. So we got temps in the 60s and right there I'm looking at the pine snake basking. Temps are here on him. Temps are upper 70s. It's basking in, in a really interesting place underneath all this debris, and branches, and leaves. But you can see it's got some coils out in the sun. And it's temps. 70s. It's definitely getting the rays here. So, another one out today. Cold weather doesn't seem to stop them if the sun is giving out radiant heat. They don't move a long ways, but they come up and bask. Another cool observation today. I'm in a recently burned area. This pine's been in. And air temp 62. And right here. Got a basking pine. And let's see what its temp is. 78. Three, seventy-five, eighty-one. More where the sun's at on it. So, it's pretty neat how they uh, find ways to thermoregulate on cool days. As long as the sun's out. is really neat. Love seeing them like this in habitat, even a burned area. And uh, they find a way to conceal themselves. So if you're hiking, you really have to really look around. Another recently burned area and second snake in this track of land. He's basking right here. And I did some body temps on it, and it's got anywhere from 70 to 65, and the air temps around 59 now. It's getting later in the day. Um, this is really neat how there's not really much in the way of vegetation left after the burn, but yet they find a place that's kind of thick, and um, they're hanging out right there above ground today. It's um, almost 3.30. It's really, really good stuff. So today I got a pine snake that I tracked um, a week or so ago. He's been in the same area um, since they burned it underground, above ground, and it was basking in this exact same spot couple weeks ago no different right here so it's coiled all underneath these branches in a great hidden spot and this is so cool from a distance you can just see in the sunlight you can see the uh, the glimmer off its scales 
and um, it's a nice sunny day today in the 70s, mid 70s here. I'm sure in the sun here, it's. I didn't bring my temp gun out, but I'm sure it's high 80s in the sun right where it's basking. So this is another situation where if you were to walk up past here, you would never see it. You'd really have to study the area. A lot of snakes are coiled today. It's really warmed up. Okay, still in the re recently burned area. I mean, there's hardly any thick foliage. Um, it's probably close to almost 80 degrees, maybe 79 today. Really nice mild day. And here's where the pine snake is this time. This is just so interesting to see them just like this. Basically in the open. Yeah, I'm sure I would walk right by it probably, but there's definitely a glimmer that shows up if you really look. And um, it's just, uh, Incredible to see them like that in an area just like this and I've walked these areas and still never seen anything So this is Always a treat Pine snake just walked up on in an open area again Recently burned and I wish I could just walk up on one like this all the time without a transmitter but anyway another cool find a little bit of just green all this brown it makes it darker and you'd never see it in there but that's right there Looking for the hole, which is right there. See it? Trying to find it, trying to find it, trying to find it. Trying to find it. Probe, 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 and there it goes. And this this is in a pocket gopher system because as you can see the there's pocket gophers. Old old mounds all around. These are old ones too, so when we look in the fresh ones, it doesn't really matter. Today is uh pretty overcast. Uh, the snakes that I've tracked so far have been underground. One of them moved a long ways onto private land and I've got one right here that I believe I stepped on. Or if I didn't step on it, I sure came close. They just do not move and you can see it barely underneath all this grass. I want to try to find its burrow, I'm sure, but it came out here. Yes, it goes. Come in with some thick stuff here. I know it's looking for a burrow. Let's see which one it finds. Go for systems all around. really looking for a, a burrow that's what I've noticed about them usually they're right outside a little hole that they popped out out of a pocket gopher mound see how it's probing 
Just looking, 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 and there it goes. It knew right where to go. Ah, so cool. The truck is over there. It's pretty hot today. It's about 85. The ground temp's pretty warm. I guess what's underneath here. What a cool place to be hiding. Under a clump of wire grass. Nobody ever see you. We're in March now towards the end of the study and uh, it's time to start pulling snakes. And this pine is basking on a really beautiful day. And we walked up on it and took a second to see it, believe it or not. I think it would jump right out at you, but I actually have to take this snake. It's gonna get the transmitter taken out. So I'm gonna pick it up here in a second. Another uh, pine release today. Uh, that's the scar. And they do a really great job of sewing it up. You can't even hardly tell. Um, right there. Great job. And it's, this is the burrow it was in. Coaxed it out with a uh, burrow cam. Right back where it was last Friday. I just got the transmitter taken out and it's time to release them. Thanks for your time.